Hello and welcome to the world of NDE 4.0. My name is Johannes Frana and today is a great day because today we will be talking about semantic interoperability by using information models, by using ontologies. And I can already hear you saying, okay, what are all those techy words? What is all this IT stuff? And what does it have to do with NDT or NDE? Now, in my eyes, given that it is kind of techy terms, this is really what opens up the world of NDE 4.0, what, what opens up the world to Industry 4.0. And this is why I think you need a basic understanding about what is semantic interoperability, what does it mean? So shall we get started? Now, if you have some information, like a number, let's say 38, and you're doing that in a human conversation, so somebody is asking you, how old are you? And you are answering 38. So therefore, the counterpart knows, OK, this is an information. This number 38 is connected to your age. Or if you are talking about movies and somebody says a certain title, then you know, OK, this is a film title. Now, if I just give a computer the number 38, the human cannot understand this. So how do I get to the point that a computer can understand this information? And that's exactly what semantic interoperability is about. Now, let's have a look into an example. If we look here onto this number, the number 42, what can the number 42 mean? It can mean, it can be the length of a truck. But then comes the question, okay, which truck? Then you can answer, okay, it's a truck from a certain manufacturer produced in 2013 on the 2nd of February on 12 o'clock. Uh, it was used in the USA. Um, it was running for 200,000 miles up to the moment. And the length we are seeing here is in meters, not in feet, not in inches, in meters. So you see already, for this number to give that number an a meaning for a computer, we actually need to give it all the connections to the item where this number is attached to. It can also be the 42nd day of a year. Now, but then comes the question, okay, this is already a little bit more information. It's the 42nd day of a year. So we already know a little bit more, but which year and what exactly is the information? It can be the gain of a UT instrument. Is it before or after calibration? At which day did we do that calibration or did we measure this 42? Which probe did we use? It could be my weight in kilogram, but on which day? How many years ago was that? And now I guess some of you already have guessed it. This number 42 is out of some quite famous literature. And if you haven't read it, then I really recommend this book because the number 42 is also the answer the ultimate question of life, universe, and everything. Yeah, this is according to the book from Douglas Adams, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. And it's really a funny book. So if you have time, if you want to read a good funny book, then read this book. I really recommend it. But now coming back to our topic, semantic interoperability. You can see this number 42. If you just store 42, it doesn't have any meaning. If you store a video on your hard drive, for your computer, this video will not have any meaning. You will need the information. Okay, on which day was it recorded? Which topic is it about? Um, and so on and so on. Who was within that video? Who was, the, uh, who was doing the acting on this video? 
So you need all of this information to give an information meaning for a computer. You need the unit of measurement and you need all those connections. And all those connections, that's called ontologies. Now the way to describe actually those semantic interoperabilities for a computer, this is done using the information models. And for NDE, we are actually currently working on establishing an information model. Now, there is already one information model out there, which is the information model which is used for DICONDI. It's actually a pretty complete information model. There might be some small things happening, small things missing, but it's already a huge effort to get there and they have done it. So that is the information model number one, which is already out there. And number two, we are also working on one for OPCOA because if you look into the industry 4.0 environment, you will see that actually OPCOA is considered the upcoming interface framework for industry 4.0. It's now a national standard in China, in Korea, and it's used in a lot of production environments already. So therefore, we as an NDE industry have to get actually into this standard, into this framework, and we are doing that by actually creating this information framework, um, this information model. And that information model for OPCUA is called a companion specification. So, now let's have a look into the kind of a definition for semantic interoperability. Semantic interoperability is the ability of a computer system to share, uh, to exchange data with unambiguous shared meaning. So it's really about sharing data, either using a data format or using some interfaces or within a database. And it's about, okay, how do we give it a meaning? How do we make the computer understand this? How do we make it machine readable, machine understandable? So this is why, what semantic interoperability is about. And now I guess you see why I think this is so important for NDE 4.0. Because once we have semantic interoperability, yeah, then we can just take this data, either give it to some other system so that this other system can actually work on our data and understand our data, number one. We can also give it to an AI and that AI understands the content of the data and can actually work on the data in a way better way than it was with just dumping some usual information into it. And you, once you get into all those emerging technologies of industry 4.0, then yeah, you will see that for most of them, semantic interoperability is key. Industrial Internet of Things couldn't be done without semantic interoperability, and so on and so on. So thank you for watching this video about semantic interoperability. I hope it wasn't too much techy stuff and I hope you got the idea why I think it is that important. And next time we will be talking about something where semantic interoperability is key, where it is absolutely necessary to have it. And that is the digital twin. As more, as usually you will find more information down here in the description. I hope you liked this video. I hope you subscribe to this channel. I hope I will see you soon. Thanks a lot for watching. See you soon. Thank you and bye.